I've got tenants setting each other's cars on fire at one of my properties. That's today's video. This is Tenants from Hell. Let's dive in. This is a really, really savage story, but it is by no means my most savage story. I want you to check out the other Tenants from Hell and Landlords from Hell content we've put out there. And if you got a story that's even more savage than mine, I want to hear about it. I want you to tell me and all the viewers your story as well. So go ahead and drop a comment below with your story. If your story is good enough and you've got some photo and video evidence that this actually happened to you, I would love to have you on the show and share your story with the rest of the world. So I bought this uh, motel in uh, the old Brooklyn neighborhood. You know, if you've been following a lot of the content, a lot of the stuff we got going on here, Holton Wise, we love old Brooklyn. You know, it's a C-class neighborhood. If you're not sure what I mean when I say C-class, go ahead and Google the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. I'll also throw a link to that in the show notes. It's a comprehensive guide that I've made to grade every single neighborhood in the Cleveland area on an A to F scale. So, you know, when I refer to C class, you, you'll know what I mean when you refer to that guide. So this isn't a C class neighborhood. Personally, I think C class neighborhoods are the best neighborhoods for real estate investors. You know, the prices are still very low, but the tenant base is absolutely manageable. You know, it's a, it's a beautiful mix, right? There's pros and cons, but I think C class has the best mix and can make us the most money as real estate investors. Well, this motel, I own a 21 unit apartment building across the street from this motel. And this is a big motel. It's like 35,000, maybe 40,000 square feet. You know, I'm the number one broker of rental property in Cleveland. So, you know, all the commercial assets, all the rental properties, I'm selling them. I'm approached by the owner of the motel. He wants me to sell the motel for him. So, you know, we go under contract, I act as his broker, and I try to sell this motel for this guy. The thing about this motel though, is the motel itself is actually like literally the worst thing in this neighborhood. The motel is dragging down the rest of the neighborhood. You know, there's just tons of crime, uh, rooms are rented by the hour. The thing is just is riddled with prostitutes, okay? So I'm trying to sell this thing. We get it under contract three or four times, but every deal keeps falling apart because this hotel, it's dilapidated. We got the hookers, we got the drugs, we got the crime. Nobody wants to tackle this investment. So, you know, being the investor that I am, I'm like, screw this. Uh, I don't even care about selling this anymore. Hey, buddy, I'm just going to buy this from you. I need to do this project. This project needs to be done. I got buildings across the street. We've got hundreds of duplexes in the neighborhood. You know, if I can't sell this to somebody to turn it around, I'm going to turn it around myself. So instead of grabbing a big commission payday, I decided to deploy a bunch of my own capital and purchase this motel from this guy with the plan to redevelop it into an apartment building. This is a very big undertaking. Truth be told, as I make this video for you today, I am still not completed with the project. I'm sure in the coming months, I'll end up having several videos mentioning this motel project. Because again, it's you know about 40,000 square feet, pretty big project in the neighborhood. You know, they did a nice write up about us in the paper and the project. So, you know, there's a lot of things going on. When you could remove a very big sore spot in a neighborhood like this, you know, that's really good going forward for the neighborhood. So in addition to all these motel rooms, which by the way, we, we shut the motel down as soon as we purchased the property. You know, I do not want to run a sex motel. I do not want to run a business where we're renting rooms by the hour and, and prostitutes are there. You know, even after we shut down the motel room, it's, it's been ran like that for so many years that the, the prostitutes, they just flock to this area. If you would like Holton Wise to sell a property you already own in a video just like this one, send an email to sales at holtonwise.com. You would never buy a property without a building inspection, right? The thing is, the inspection is limited to the building itself. The profitability of a real estate investment is not just about the four walls and a roof you're buying, it's also about the neighborhood, rental demand, and tenant base. Before you risk your hard-earned money, 
on a deal that you come across on your own, go to HoltonWise.com to purchase a video analysis of that property today. So even after we close down the motel, these girls are still going to this property uh, to do this kind of stuff. Like, you know, there's some exterior stairwells in this building. The building itself is like kind of like an L. And, uh, you know, my team, you know, we go in there and regularly we're finding used condoms in the stairwells. And, you know, they're still approaching people anytime they park their car in the parking lot. Like actually back a couple years ago, I posted a video for you guys. This is when I was very new in the business and I was uh, driving around in the hood looking at apartment buildings and it was a weird story. I was approached by a tranny hooker. I'll go ahead and throw a link to that in the show notes if you haven't seen that video. Um, since that day, I've learned a lot about the business. I've learned a lot about the hood and I've also made a lot of money in this business and grown my business exponentially. So I am not typically personally the person sitting in the cars at things like utility turn-ons or actually physically going on site and cleaning up these properties. Uh, that's now become my staff. So I don't personally end up in that situation anymore. Uh, but some of my staff have. Um, a lot of the guys on our leasing team and a lot of the guys that are you know waiting at properties, getting utilities turned on with the utility companies, you know, they're younger guys, a lot of college graduates that we have. And you know, we had one kid, you know, just fresh out of college, 21, 22 years old. He's sitting in the building uh, waiting for the electric company to come there so he can get some units turned on. You know, he's approached by a prostitute. This is the first time he's ever been exposed to anything like this. As a matter of fact, we all learned a little something that day. You know, he was approached by someone uh, offering English country salad. I'm not going to get into exactly what English country salad is, but, you know, if you're looking for... Uh, some learning uh, about the streets, so to speak, you might wanna punch that term into Google. And I assure you, that's not the kind of salad that you're gonna be putting ranch dressing on. Anyway, that just kind of paints the picture of what's going on, what we're dealing with with this building. On top of all that stuff, there was actually 10 apartments that uh, I believe like five or six of them were occupied by some individuals. You know, these are rough individuals. You know, as we're trying to turn over a 40,000 square foot building with this type of crime and behavior in there, you don't want to remove everybody all at once. You don't want a totally vacant building. It's nice to have a little bit of people in the building. But, you know, these are all people that are very, very tough to deal with, which leads me to the whole point of the video, the whole point of the story that I wanted to tell you guys today. We have a tenant who got into a dispute with another tenant. From what we were told, from what we found out through our investigation, you know, this was over a nominal sum of money. One of the guys involved slighted the other one for approximately $20. Naturally, in retaliation for being slighted for $20, the other guy thought the best thing to do would be to set the other one's car on fire. The other guy, he had a gold car, so the guy who felt he was slighted for 20 bucks set it on fire. The thing is, he didn't remember which one, which gold car in the parking lot was this guy's car. So he set every single car that was gold in our parking lot on fire. Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business, who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to HoltonWise.com today. We've built a completely automated sales and investing process here at HoltonWise. You are able to go from spectator to real estate investor with a few clicks in the mouse. However, we understand that this automated process isn't for everyone. If you have enjoyed all of the free content on the HoltonWise YouTube channel, and HoltonWise.com, but want to dive in even deeper with a more personalized investing experience, you can sit down and talk shop with James Wise directly. Visit HoltonWise.com to schedule a one-on-one -on -one coaching session today. So we got two burned out gold cars. They were sitting next to our dumpster with a nice wood enclosure. So that caught on fire. The uh, lamp post actually caught on fire. Just a total nightmare situation. Naturally, we did what any landlord in our situation would do. We just evicted both of these guys, removed that problem. 
you know, I just wanted to highlight the types of things you guys are going to see when you take on these big, big turnaround projects. You know, is there a lot of money to be made in this project? Yes. Do, am I regretting buying this project? No, absolutely not. But it is a pain in the ass, and uh, have I experienced some setbacks that I didn't necessarily anticipate? More or less, yeah. You know, this is the first time I've ever had tenants setting each other's cars on fire. You know, that type of behavior, you're going to see that if you go into these neighborhoods and you take on these big projects. And the reason I'm telling you all this, you know, the reason the tenants from hell show and the landlords from hell show, the reason all of this exists is because it is our goal, it is my personal goal to change the way real estate investors learn and educate themselves about the business. I see too many other people out there on the internet that all they show you is the good stuff. They show you the yachts, they show you the Lamborghinis, they show you the money. You know, that's all great. Real estate makes more millionaires than any other business in the world. More millionaires, nine out of 10 millionaires in the US that are self-made got that way through investing in real estate. I myself am one of them. But what I do not want to present to you is that is this easy, smooth road. If you're gonna go out there and make real money in this business, you're gonna have to solve real problems. And this motel, you know, we've nicknamed it the sex motel based on its history. You know, these are real problems, real nasty problems that are not the easiest for anyone to deal with. So if you're thinking of diving into this business, if you're thinking you want to make the kind of money that we're making and you want to turn around these assets, don't do it alone. Don't do it without education. Keep watching the educational content. Get yourself a team on the ground. When you find yourself entering into these projects, make sure you're doing it with people who've done it before, people who know how to navigate these waters. Because again, man, it's, it's a tough business out there. I say it all the time. It's completely savage because it is. So if that sounds like something you've got the stomach for and you could tackle, absolutely go for it. But if you're looking to make money in real estate and that is something that sounds a little too rough, a little too extreme for you, that's totally fine. There are many other ways to make money in real estate, but you wanna go ahead and let those extremely large projects, let the pros handle those, like guys like me, who do this every single day, handle those projects. And maybe you could focus more on turnkey assets, which coincidentally, that is something that we sell every single day here at Holton Wise. So in the show notes below, there's a link. You can go ahead and click that link to sign up for our list. And every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are gonna email you properties for sale. They're all gonna come with video tours describing exactly what the property is like, what needs to be done to it to maximize the return on that investment and you'll have the option to purchase them right through that email on top of that we're going to include educational videos as well you know videos like our tenants from hell series like you're watching right now so if you like this video and you or somebody you know is thinking about getting in the real estate game you know, do me a favor smash that like button and share this video with them so they could learn as well. You know, this channel, we offer you those properties for sale, but we also wanna provide you with education. We wanna help you learn. We wanna prepare you for everything you're gonna deal with as a property manager, as a real estate investor, as a landlord. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes 
to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.